Liberty senior Bailey Corrigan has racked up 57 kills over her last four matches, and last night against Easton would add 14 to that total. Her first coming after an ace from Elena Sable as the Canes built an early 3-0 advantage in the first. Easton hung around, keeping within two after Sam Lannan lofts one into the back that falls inbounds. Corrigan then will be the one to get Liberty into the 20s off a great set from Mia Mitch, who had 26 assists. Despite some great net play from Hannah Pitt, the Red Rovers answer with four straight to come within one, but it would be this kill from Sable that gets Liberty back on track to win the set 25 to 22. In the second set, a strong start from Easton would end up being washed away by a hurricane as Corrigan earns back-to-back -back aces. One touch was then all it would take for Shauna Beatty to earn the point. She led her team with three blocks. Liberty never took its foot off the gas, winning the second 25-15. An ace from Mitch would give the Canes a 14-9 lead in the third frame. Defense was a highlight for both squads, but Easton was relentless. These efforts, a good example of how they were able to extend these rallies. This one ending in a big block, but more often than not went Liberty's way. The Canes cut off Easton's momentum and win the third set 25 to 20, a second straight sweep for the visitors. They're just a scrappy team, so I mean, you think the ball's going to go down and then they somehow find a way to pick it up. And honestly, that's what makes it fun too. Um, but sometimes, you know, the swing is just better, but it makes the hitters better too because you have to find a spot. It was definitely like a lot of good defense, like you said. Like we had to place the ball, good places, tips, kills. It's very tough, but we were able to pull through with it. While well, Liberty struggled to get balls down on Easton's defense early in this match, what they didn't struggle with was their serve. As a team, they had 10 aces with Bailey Corrigan leading the way with three. I think our serving really helped us um, get a good lead. And then I think we were just a little bit more clean in the second set, just not a ton of like silly errors and stuff like that. Pretty much every day we practice serving deep um, and then also mixing it up and going short. Um, and I think that really helped us today. Yeah, it was very, very successful. Um, you know, we were able to find spaces, just like the kills and everything. So I think serving was a big deal for us, too, because, you know, serving we've been struggling with, but I'm glad we were able to get some aces this game. In Easton, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.